All right. So I guess in this video, we're gonna be uh, installing um, the unofficial Service Pack Four for Windows XP. Now currently we are running Service Pack Three, but we got the unofficial Service Pack Four in here. I think this is probably the first ever time that I've ever done, well, I ever installed uh, the unofficial Service Pack Four. I heard, I heard a couple things about that, obviously. And um, we're going to go ahead and try it out ourselves for the very first time. Alright, and it should be, uh, <clears throat> it should be loading up the installer for that. And here we are. Use the wizard to install the following stuff for update. Windows XP Service Pack 4. We can click on help for that, but it probably won't give us any meaningful stuff. Whoa! Oh my goodness. It, it talks about what Service Pack 4 is, and yeah. Windows XP, <laughs> this part it basically acts as a README a little bit. XP Unofficial Service Pack 4 is a remastered release of Service Pack 3 and includes all updated system files released after Service Pack 3, .NET Framework, PowerShell, Rights Management Client, BitLocker To Go Reader, XPS Viewer EP, Windows Search, and some security enhancements. With the exception of some modified setup information files, it is a cosmetic resource modification in sysdm.cpl. Okay, and... Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go ahead and click next. And we will read the license agreement if we have to. Archive files. If you want to remove service pack for layers, then I must archive the necessary files. No, we do not want to archive it because I don't think I will be uninstalling this. So. Now it's going to go ahead and install the unofficial service pack 4. Now I will not provide the uh, the link to download this. Um, in fact, I probably can't tell you where I got it. You'll have to find it yourself. And don't ask in the comments about how to, how to get the thing. So, <laughs> again, look for it yourself. That's all I got to say about that. So now it's installing. And by the way, um, with Service Pack 4, it also has that registry hack that allows you to search for and get Windows Embedded 2009 updates. You know, Embedded Standard and POS Ready 2009. Which, in fact, I do happen to have a uh, POS Ready uh, 2009 install disk on hand because well I I'm going to be doing a multi-boot configuration on this well I didn't have a multi-boot configuration on this laptop before but I had a different hard drive in, so I'm doing another multi-boot configuration because why not <laughs> I just happen to like uh, multi-boot configurations that's just me so it's performing the inventory stuff. But yeah, like I said, um, XP Service Pack 4, the unofficial Service Pack 4, has the registry hack that allows Windows Embedded Standard 2009 and Embedded POS Ready 2009 updates to be, to be like shown, located, and installed, obviously. Now, Microsoft has discouraged this practice because they 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 cited uh, incompatibility issues. All right, let's stopping services, and it's creating a restore point now. And now it's installing all of the stuff there. And, 
this unofficial service pack 4 because it includes um post service pack 3 updates um to me <laughs> this is gonna sound pretty weird but i'm gonna say this to me it's almost like um you know it's like what a convenience roll up you say for windows xp like with windows 7's um convenience roll up you know that was released after service pack 1 which was obviously the last service pack that was ever released for microsoft windows because by windows 8 there weren't any service packs and there were no service packs there were no updates labeled as service packs for windows 8 onwards pretty much but yeah um I think of this as like a, a convenience rollout for Windows XP, you know, like with Windows 7, convenience rollout from t 2016 or 2017. I think it's 2016. But there we are. It's installing all the files for it. It should be pretty much readily up to date. I mean, um, well, obviously, because this thing has a registry hack for for enabling of embedded 2009 um, updates, Windows Embedded 2009 um, had already ended support, like, I think about, like, three or four years ago. That was back in 2019. So that's 10 years. Now... Embedded Standard, Windows Embedded Standard 2009 ended support in January 2019, while Embedded POS Ready 2009 ended support in April of 2019. Yeah, it's going to take a while. This thing is going to take a while, so I'll probably do a jump cut here, and then we'll resume where it finishes that part of the setup. So... I'm going to cut here and we'll be back to you in this bit. Alright. Completing the Windows XP Service Pack 4 installation wizard. You have successfully completed the Service Pack 4 setup wizard. To apply any changes, the wizard has to re restart Windows. To restart Windows automatically, click finish. Um, okay. I almost clicked do not restart now. Luckily, I clicked out of it, so let's see if it'll reboot this time. It's a little bit slow, but we'll see when we get there. Oh. Okay. Looks like we're getting there. I do have something in the disk drive, but that'll be something for another time. So I won't do anything in here. Oh, we got a progress bar down there. <laughs> you don't usually see that, um, you know in typical XP installs alright what do we got going on here I don't know if it's gonna take us to the oob alright here we go yes next so we got a gimped version of the oob here so we just click on that and then just click next so that we can get out of the oob this part of the oob and just go straight into the desktop it is really taking its sweet time pretty much this thing All right, so we're in, pretty much. 
And so let's take a look at for ourselves. Properties. Ah, yes, there it is. Version 2014. So instead of version 2002, it's version 2014. Still says Service Pack 3, but obviously what the unofficial Service Pack 4 it doesn't change that. It only changed the version 2002 to version 2014. Now, Windows Update is obviously still broken on here. Because we can go ahead and just check here. Uh, we'll do that later. Yeah, it's broken. So we'll have to go into Legacy Update and check for ourselves. Well, I think that's about it because I'll go install Legacy Update or whatever some sort of a way to get the updates back on lo back working on this thing off camera so yeah that's about it